Hi, I'm Tommy Luganbill, and I'm the director of Techport University of Maryland. And on my left, I'm Alec Dobbins. I'm an intern at Techport. And on my right, Matt Hayes, a UPD involved in uh, feasibility assessment and manufacturing scale up. Today, we're going to talk about 3D printed face mask frames, and we're creating a minimum viable product here. Uh, we are not creating anything that should be used to prevent the spread of COVID-19, but we believe this is a good starting point and we want to get the conversation rolling from here. The components of the mask include a 3D printed mask frame. We used a nylon filament, rubber bands or cord, and a filter material. We used a disposable blue shop towel for this demonstration. To manufacture, you will need the digital file for the filter frame available publicly as DIY face mask by Two Robot Guy, but we are working on updated versions and additional sizes. You will also need a 3D printer. And as a reminder, we are only developing a minimum viable product, which is a frame of a mask. We're not trying to make a mask that can fight off the spread of COVID-19. And after going through all of this, we've developed a few different ideas of opportunities that we want to explore. And Matt is going to explain those now. So some advantages that this design has is that it conforms to the face. Um, it has manufacturing scalability local to Maryland with the exception of the filter material, which I'll get into in a second. Um, we can manufacture it in multiple sizes and it's cost effective. Uh, we have a few means through which we can produce these immediately and in short order at large volume. Disadvantage is the filter material. The situation across the world is that the typical um, uh, pressure blown uh, poly um, polypropylene fiber that N95 masks are made out of. All machines producing that have been running around the clock for the last three months and they're largely in China. Um, and so we're not going to have access to any approved material. That's going to be a limitation for all mask designs uh, that anyone can propose. So we demoed this with a uh, shop paper towel. Um, which we're not necessarily recommending as the ideal, but we are researching um, filtration methods and alternatives that we may be able to find locally. Um, major advantage for this design is that when a filter material is identified, it can be deployed immediately because you do not have to have a mask developed from it. You don't have to find uh, textile manufacturing. Um, you just need a roll of material and then it can be used in the field the same day. And the one thing that I want to stress is, I think something that Matt already said, which is we're not suggesting that this is the final solution. Uh, in fact, we are trying to spark the conversation and we seek feedback from medical experts, legislative experts, and people who are just genuinely interested in making a difference. So please reach out to us, ask us questions, and we are going to continue to think of new ideas and hopefully get a solution that ultimately helps everyone.